What is up YouTube and welcome to Madden NFL 20. Yes, it finally came out. Came out today, Friday, August 1st. Play the I haven't bought on the Xbox, so I play I didn't get EA access for this. Just because I kinda realized a little realized like a couple days before it was gonna come out, so I said why not? I'll go wait for the game to come out. So it's finally here and Today we will be starting first episode of our franchise mode. Yes, big franchise guy in this. Not really, I kind of drifted away from Ultimate Team, so don't expect any Ultimate Team. I'm sorry if there are any Ultimate Team fans. And actually, you know what? Face of the franchise might be something I might take a look at because that actually looks very fun. And I might give it a go. And so we are going to hop into our franchise mode. I thought about what teams we were going to be. I was thinking between maybe the Bills and basically the Bills and the Redskins were my top two, but I decide to go with Bills Mafia. Yes, we will be building the team around the second year quarterback, uh, Josh Allen. And, wait, why do I feel, yes, Josh Allen, I feel like I got the name wrong. But yes, we are going to be using the Bills. You know, the Giants would have been a good one, but we did them last year and they are so bad. Um, a lot of teams, I was, Dolphins are just, I just don't want to do the Dolphins. Uh, I was thinking Dolphins too, I'm just, Cardinals of course could be a one that a lot, would have been a one that a lot of people were expecting with Kyler Murray, but you know I kind of did that with uh, Baker Mayfield last year. Buccaneers could have been a good one too, because they have been bad for a few years now. The Broncos were another good one too, but I, I I'm kind of leaning towards the Bills to see if I make any last second decisions. Yeah, this is the Redskins. Uh, nah, Ravens are too good. You know what? Yeah, we're, yeah. Final decision. We're going Buffalo. Josh Allen, I think, is going to be very fun to play with. I played with him a little bit last year. Uh, starting point. Should we start in the preseason? Yeah, we'll start in the preseason. Just so we could like, we'll cut some players. Actually, you know what? Should we just start in regular season? Uh, I might just do regular season. Change role. Uh, I want to be coach. Use custom coach. I think we will... Do the, we'll use our we'll use a custom coach. So motivator trade influence package, expert scout package, coach XP. We're gonna go the trade influence because I could definitely use that. Juan Blanco. We will just be rich. Oh, I don't know why I went. I'm just gonna be rich, homie Clune. I just go as fast as I can. I'm trying to kind of go by, fly by this. So C A U N E. Uh, we go thin skin tone. Oh, whoops. Skin tone. I am probably as white as I can be. Face. I wish I could see a little better. His face is kind of look a little weird. What about here? That's not a bad one. I'll go with that one, Peril Nike Classic. Oh wow, I kind of like that. The modern. We'll go with the modern one. Offensive styles. We'll just go with the Buffalo playbook. I just played a game with. I think it was the Ravens because Lamar Jackson's actually ridiculous in this game with that. Uh, we'll go to Deadline On as the start. Yes, we're gonna start with All Pro because I'm a little bit rusty. Haven't played Madden in a while. We'll go salary cap on, superstar abilities, of course. Injury on, we'll take pre-existing pre injury off. We'll go six minutes, and that should be fine for now. So, yeah, we're just going to start the regular season. And I have a plan. Of course, I'm thinking about what players we could bring in to improve the team, but I think I'm going to play week one just with the team. We're going to know, we'll, maybe I'll go around. I'll show you what players I want. Or I'm gonna look to target, but I think week one we're just gonna play with the team. We're not gonna change anything up. 
see how the team performs, and then maybe we could get a better look at what we really need to improve. But I do have an idea of what I want to improve and a few players who I would love to get. So, preseason, yeah, really was nothing. I mean, we could have probably signed Eric Berry, who was a free agent. We'll have to see if maybe X Factor or you discuss your next opponent. Set season goal, I would say let's just set it as make the playoffs because Buffalo hasn't been the play. Buffalo, I mean, the last time they were in the playoffs, it was a brutal, brutal game. Let's take a look at the free agents. Maybe we'll just see if there's any big names out there. No, Matt Bryan is the best. Alex Collins, Randy Gregory, man, he dropped out of the league. He's freaking smoking. He literally dropped out of the league, I think, just to smoke weed. Like, it's crazy. He's addicted to that stuff. Gus Edwards. Ooh, that could be an interesting guy to steal off the practice squad, to be honest with you. Who is this? Donald Penn, 5 million. So now I just want to take a look at the Trade Center, just so I can get a better look at our team. We have a pretty decent amount of cap room. I could take a look at some of the good contracts and bad contracts. Trey White on a really good contract. So Josh Allen, I'm trying to... One of you, player card, yes. So take a look. Wow, he has star potential. I remember last year he started with quick, and then he was at normal for some reason. But he's got really good 99 throw power, 85 throw on the run. The accuracy is good. It can be better. Break sack is good. And he's up to an 84 speed, 87 acceleration, 85 agility. And he's got 81 juke move, 81 elusiveness. I'm pretty sure he's got like 80 something jumping. And he's six foot five. So it's definitely going to be fun to play with him, Tyree Jackson quarterback from Buffalo will be, I guess, our backup. Now, here's the interesting one. I'm going to kind of go through and talk about players I can move. LaShawn McCoy. I mean, I'm going to play week one. I'm going to see how really well he plays because I feel like he's just going to regress. He's got normal potential, and he's kind of on a bad contract, but he's got pretty decent stats. He's still a good player. Good juke move. Elusiveness is not the best, but... We could definitely, tr uh, running back position, I might want to upgrade. Also, Frank Gore, I do not want to play. I don't think I'm going to even play one second with Frank Gore. TJ Eldon, I think, will keep as number two re re uh, receiver. Running back. Receivers, this could be a position we can upgrade. I don't know. I don't trust Cole Beasley being, I, I mean, maybe. Because we have John Brown. John Brown, I saw, is 94 speed. So that could instantly put him above. Because I would put Cole Beasley at the slot. John Brown instantly a slot guy. Zay Jones is a guy who I really want to see how well he plays because he's got good size. And Does he have quick potential? No, he only has normal. Okay, what does Cole Beasley have? Oh, we have a slot upgrade. Uh, I just want to see. Oh, before we do that, he's got normal too. So, because I want to see Ruben Robert Foster. Tight end is pretty good. I would say offensive line is pretty good. I kind of scouted. I kind of looked at the players before. Except for the right side. Right side's pretty bad. Defensive line is good with Jerry Hughes. Ed Oliver, the rookie, who was, what, the fourth hidden? Oh, that's pretty interesting. Play 500 downs with this player to unlock his potential. I'm sure, what was he, the fourth overall pick? I just don't remember what pick they had. But he was a high pick. He definitely has star potential. And star Lutilili. Oh, my God, what is that contract? We are getting rid of that. Shaq Lawson and Trent Murphy, who's our backup. we got to get rid of that contract, too. I would say the, the linebacker core could use some work. Tremaine Edmonds, of course. What is his... Uh, he's got to have star. He has star, so Tremaine Edmonds, of course. 87 speed. His zone coverage is a little... Not so well. So I would like to get that up. So why not get it up right away? Because I like... And plus two zones, that's not bad. And cornerbacks are pretty good. Two Trey White, Levy Law Wallace... Who's a one-year guy out of Alabama? Pretty good stats. Not the best number two receiver. Teron Johnson, Kevin Johnson. So a couple like washed-up guys, and so we might have to upgrade corner. Micah Hyde, of course, is good. He's got superstar abilities. Oh, you can actually unlock them too. Unlocks at 90 overall. So that's oh, that's cool. Because I was wondering at certain players, like what can they unlock? Let me see if Josh Allen kind of gets that. No, he doesn't. Maybe he does over time. I don't know. But yeah, safeties is pretty good. Maybe the strong safety, Jordan Boyer, we could maybe look to upgrade, but it is fine. He's got starred potential. He's actually not bad. He's actually really not bad. Oh, wow. But I might want to bring it on someone else. 
All right, so we have, like I said, it's a pretty well-rounded team. It could definitely use a little bit more firepower on offense, and I just want, like I said, I probably want to bring another receiver. I just want to kind of take a look at, do they still have, no, they still had Kevin White. One receiver, of course, who I haven't really played much with, AJ Green with 11.5 million cap hit. He is kind of on the older side. But he's got Superstar X Factor. He actually might be a little... He's usually easy to get. But maybe with that Superstar X Factor, he's a little harder to get. But can you imagine AJ Green and Josh Allen? Like, I could see maybe the Bengals interested in giving away... Uh, trading away uh, AJ Green. Maybe we could give them a couple of picks. So AJ Green could be a possibility. Um, also from the Bengals, a player who I think is really... Who was really good last year. John Ross. His 97 speed, he's deadly. He's actually really good in this game. You know, just... He's basically like Tyreek Hill almost, at least last year when I played with him. He was really good. So maybe we could try to get him too. And we could probably get him for like a fifth round pick. He's really easy to get him. At least it was last year. Corlin Sutton, another good young receiver. Now with the running back, that's going to be an interesting one to do. But surprisingly coming on the Browns, I was thinking why not Kareem Hunt? I never played with Kareem Hunt. Yes, he suspended the first eight games, but it's Madden, so if we could try to get him, I think I'm just going to play. I don't care. <laughs> you know, because they really don't need him. And plus, it kind of makes a little bit of sense if they could flip him, because they got him for, like, really nothing. So if we gave them, I just want to see maybe what, say, like, how hard is it to get him. So let me just come to, like, middle linebacker, which is mission they need. Do they want this 60? Let's just see what they say to that. So the player has decent development trait and he's only a three star value so he actually might be pretty easy to get i'm trying to clear him out let me clear out okay there we go i, I haven't played Matt in a while i think we have a pretty good left tackle oh what's left outside i just don't want to like offer someone and then it, it gets accepted you know i'm kind of so let's just see what matt milano who they like what does that kind of come to oof that's not that good so it might be kind of hard to get him but we'll offer maybe our left tackle, which is Deion Dawkins, who they like. See what they say. Yeah, so it's gonna might be hard to get him. So we might have to look into another running back. But uh, I'm sure we could find some. Was that Andre Ellington? Andre Ellington, he's still in the league. Damn. David Johnson. Melvin Gordon, who just requested a trade. So maybe we could try to get him. That could be pretty interesting. That could be real interesting because he, I think he wants kind of out. So, I mean, I'm not going to offer Ed Oliver, but let's just see if they want any of these guys. They want both, so let's just see what that's like. So, okay, maybe if we gave them maybe both of them. And then maybe like a first, we could probably get Melvin Gordon. But it's kind of, I mean, it's mad and whatever. I'm trying to think of like a realistic trade. But... Oof, so X Factor running back. I already know it's Le'Veon Bell. We're just going to fast upgrade all these players. I'm not going to. I kind of want to adjust the receiver core before we start this game. We're actually running on 13 minutes of me just babbling. So I wanted to go. I wanted to go Zay Jones as a number one guy. We'll go Beasley. We'll do that. Defense, I think we're fine. Yeah, that's not really I want to change there. Special team, sure. Specialist. So, slot receivers. Cole Beasley. So, you know what? Since he's there for the slot receiver, we'll bump him down just a third. And we'll bring up John Brown. Okay, so. And we'll make Tyree Jackson our backup. And TJ Yeldon. I want him as the third down back. And I guess we'll keep Frank Gore there because I want to kind of give them all opportunities. So that's that. So that's what our team's going to be. So we're going to hop right into this first game. I might actually... I'm just trying to think. Should I go offense only for this first game? Just because I kind of... Like I said, you know what? I think... Maybe we'll play... We'll do offense only for now. We'll maybe... Because like I said, we're running on 14 minutes. And I kind of want to get this game quickly by. And I think mostly we want to see the offense more than a defense. And like I said, I'm a little rusty, so maybe the computer can help me out. 
So let's hop right into it. And at you know, I'll, I'll switch up at times. At times, I'll. That's what I kind of did last year. At times, I skipped this defense, but we'll go offensive snaps only. Maybe like to, towards the third and fourth quarter, we'll play defense ourselves. So let's okay, hop so right. So we get get the ball first, and it was a touchback and first play of the game. Why not start with a dive? Um, we'll run on the right side. Kind of see. Whoa. Whoa, Leonard, Leonard Fournette. Oh, my God. Did I really, oh, no. <laughs> Leonard Fournette. Maybe that just never showed this. I don't really care about that. But LaShawn McCoy is running the ball with one hand. What a risky. And I actually got a pretty nice juke with him. But he goes down with an injury. So now second down here. Uh, I might try to hit Tyler Croft in the middle. Josh Allen dropping back. And we do have Croft. And he caught it. CJ Mosley was trailing him. I wasn't so sure. Like I said, I'm a little rusty, but it gives off a fresh new feeling. So we're going to go play action with Josh Allen here. Oh my God, CJ Mosley is coming right up the middle. Uh, we'll go play action here. No, I didn't want to flip it. I don't know why I flipped. We'll go play action. Croft. We'll have him go yeah, like that. We'll try to go hit someone in the middle. Oh, oh! Tyler Croft wide open. Give me that block. All right, solid, solid. Croft might be open yet again. He's been killing the linebackers. Or we could go deep to Beasley. Allen drops back. Oh, oh! Die for that. Oh, I was gonna take off. Like I said, I probably play defense maybe towards the fourth because I kind of want to see try to get this game quickly through. And our defense seemed like we we stopped them and forced a punt, so our offense is back out there. And, oh, man, we have an open man. Who is that, John Brown? Oh, oh, what a catch. Oh, no, by Zay Jones. I had him wide open. I led the ball. I probably could have bullet passed him and lead him. Let, let him, lead him. Oh, I can't even speak. I probably could have bullet passed it, but I floated it, and he, the de defender, Cornerback caught up to him and had a pretty sick tip drill. And, of course, you saw there, the Jets came down and made a drive of their own, and we're back out here. And we actually might have Zay Jones again, play action yet again. Oh, we have B wide open. I think that's John Brown. John Brown, look at the speed. Oh, breaking the ankles of J Jamal Adams. I almost said Jalen Adams all summer, and I just can't wait for the fall when football and hockey are back. And here's, we're going to go switch up to TJ Yeldon. Yeldon, look, Yeldon, I think he's a great, he's going to be a, Yeldon was good. Ah, shoot, I was talking too soon. Frank Gore, too. So I don't know how they're going to do that. They'll probably split, I think just Yeldon's going to be the permanent receiving back, and they'll split time between Gore and, oh, Josh Allen. That was a little, well behind Cole Beasley, but he made, made it a play to come back to it there. The power horse back, and he gets the first down. Like, we could bring in Gus Edwards if we wanted to power back. So I'm kind of liking t Tyler Croft, or even this guy, Foster. But Croft's been killing all oh, Croft. has been murdering the linebackers. And, oh! I tried to, I, I tried to truck stick, but we got absolutely um, hit stick and fumbled, but... We're going to try a pitch play to LaShawn McCoy. We get the blocks, and he's in for the touchdown. All right, after the LaShawn McCoy touchdown, the Jets yet again drew down and scored. So the game is tied. I say let's run it to the out. To, oh, we can't. We'll try to bounce on the left side. Oh, I try to get the spin off. We're going to go play action. Maybe try to throw a deep. Send out Croft as he released, and he's always stiff arming like that little out route. But Sean McCoy in motion looks like now they're pressing. I would say our offensive line has been very good, and Tyler Croft yet again has been killing CJ Mosley too. I kind of just want to run it to get the first, and we do as McCoy. Drives his way forward. Oh, we didn't even get the first. Hmm. Didn't get the first. Why not take off with Josh Allen? 
Oh, we got a big block from McCoy. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Why do I feel like that's CJ Mosley guarding Beasley? But we're gonna. Oh. Uh, I see X, but. Ooh. But I wasn't. Oh, it's Zay Jones. Zay Jones, let's go. Now it's first and 10, basically first and goal. I might try to tire Croft on that out route. The corner route. Oh, he's going to be wide open. Uh oh. Oh, I thought CJ Mosley was going to jump that. But Tyler Croft has been a beast. There's one timeout, so I think they, they will. We got the ball first, right? So they will be getting the ball at halftime. So let's see if maybe we could score. We're going to bomb it. Oh. Bomb it deep to. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. I didn't even know who I threw it to. Is that John Brown? So after a crazy way to end it the first half, Jets got the ball, and I think, I don't know, we got a turnover, I believe, so Josh Allen taking over yet again. We have open field, we're going to take off. Can't get a, ooh, probably could have got a little more yardage. Uh, I still am kind of blown away from that John Brown catch. Seems like they're going to bring a blitz. I might try to go deep to Beasley. Uh, I don't know if he has a step, but Beasley goes up and catches it. Oh my goodness. Dominating the Jets. Maybe I am warmed back up. We could go right back to... Ooh, don't have anybody open. Just throw it away. We need AJ Green, but it would still be sick if we got him. Oh, they bought a blitz, and we got sacked by Jay Jank. Actually simulated to the next quarter, and we have the ball on the Jets' 42-yard line. And we have Tyler. Oh, I led the ball a little too much. Brown. Send Brown deep. Throw in the back of the end zone. Go get it. Oh my god, he almost came down with that one too. The open, we're going to send Zay Jones on the quick slant. Allen drops him back. Ooh, ah, oh, Zay Jones got bumped and it was also out of bounds. This play, I like this play. Either Croft or... Ooh, Croft has seemed to be... Ooh, but who's B? Is that John Jones? John Jones? I don't know. Who, who, no, that's not... That's not... Who the hell? I'm on the out route. And we'll just run it in. They're not stopping me, so why not? And look at Josh Allen. All right, so after that drive, we simulated the end of the game, and we dominated. This offense was... John Brown was a beast. Cole Beasley was good. I don't even know if we have to get rid of them now. I didn't want to get rid of John Brown. Maybe Cole Beasley. Tyler Croft, what a what a what a game for him. He killed CJ Mosley. And Josh Allen, our passing game seemed very, very effective. And our defense played pretty well too. Like I said, I didn't play any of the defense because I wanted to get this game over with. As you can see, Josh Allen 400 yards and four touchdowns. Zay Jones with 105 yards and two receptions. John Brown had a sick game. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Next episode, we will probably switch up the team and play week two. And we will play on all Madden next episode. This was a little, it wasn't easy, it wasn't too easy. I mean, I think it was pretty easy. It was pretty, pretty easy. But we'll play on all Madden next episode. And I.